It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's episode is brought to you by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm-fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. With the cost of groceries going up and up, now is the perfect time to get started with HelloFresh. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. I love HelloFresh for that exact reason. It saves me time and money, and I don't have to sacrifice taste or quality. For more information, go to HelloFresh.com slash NHL60 and use code NHL60 for 60% off plus free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com slash NHL60. Again, today's sponsor is HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. The most exciting time of the NHL schedule has arrived, everybody. And thank you for joining us for the Monday episode of the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. All the top news from the weekend that you need brought together on today's episode. Let's get right to it. Thank you for joining us. Your Locked On Fantasy Hockey, your daily podcast on fantasy hockey. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome back to your source for fantasy hockey news and degenerate gambling breakdowns. It's the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast alongside my esteemed co-host, Mr. Steel Roden. It's your boy, Big Flip Livingstone. And thank you so much for making us your first listen Every single day, Monday through Friday, you can find us everywhere you find your favorite podcast, and that includes YouTube. So make sure you're out there, and we need that feedback, people. So don't slip or slack and hit us in the DMs and in the comments. And Steel, today, more of what our listeners who have been with us now for, you and I have been doing this almost a year and a half together, shout out to all those supporters. More of the same, though. Everything that you need to know from the NHL, that is fantasy worthy, but all the top stories, McDavid doing special things, Crosby in that 1500 point club, Bruins tying a franchise and obviously league record with wins, and of course, big time bets. But why don't you take it away with where you want to start? I assume we're going with McDavid, but another special weekend in the NHL, and we only have six days left, my friend, five days. You know me with the numbers. Let's five start days the playoffs. Left. Yeah, five days left in the regular season. Playoffs right around the corner. The matchups, uh, every single matchup, honestly, looks like it's going to be incredible in the first round. So I'm very yeah. excited for the postseason. But Connor McDavid doing special things in the regular season right now. 151 points currently with two games remaining uh, on the regular season. First player, though, since Mario Lemieux back in 1995 to put up 150 points. In a season, only the sixth player in NHL history to do so as well. So he's putting his name amongst the greats right now. And at 26 years old, entering his prime, he's only going to he's only going to continue to get better and better. And just what he's been able to do the last month, he's on a 14 game point streak right now with 27 points in that time, 64 goals on the season. There's two games left. Wouldn't it be absolutely crazy if he goes out in the last two games and somehow scores six goals for 70 on the season? Might be a little bit hard because one of those games is against the Colorado Avalanche Mm -hmm. and the the last one on the season against the San Jose Sharks. But it's absolutely incredible to see what Connor McDavid is able to do. And the fact that he's getting better and better every single year is absolutely fascinating as well. And just to put this, the cream of the crop on everything, if Ooh. he gets just two Ooh. more points, it puts him top 15 for more for most points ever in a season mm. at all time of all mm. seasons out of any NHL player. So, again, putting his name amongst the greats already in his early career. And I just have to come. We have to come on this episode and give Connor McDavid the credit, because yeah. when you're throwing out names like Mario Lemieux and records being touched for the first time since the mid 90s. That's when you have to actually take a serious look at what are we really seeing in front of us, Steel. And I think as, you know, you're on the West Coast now, but a lot of East Coast fans, like, I don't think you're actually tapping into how good McDavid has been this season. And I understand also, Steel, because so many fans on the East Coast of Canada are so very loyal to 
the Habs, the Sens, and obviously the Leafs. So you don't really want to pay attention to what's going on with an Edmonton Oilers star. But oh boy, should you really? Because now these numbers are starting to fall into place. And I wanted to just hit you with this because I was lucky enough to watch Mario Lemieux play live in his comeback season, two comeback seasons with the Pittsburgh Penguins in Toronto. And he just, he made a couple of plays steal that really I had never seen from a player before, including catching a pass on one hand along the boards between the legs and feeding it out front for an assist with one hand on his stick. I've never seen things like that. So when McDavid's now in the mix with a player that I know for a fact I've seen never do things before, I just need to come on to this podcast and say, I think Steele, he might even be getting better. So next year, if you have that first overall draft pick, just put your hands together and say <laughs> thank you to the fantasy hockey gods because Connor McDavid is, in my opinion, Steele, what, the next seven or eight seasons, the clear and away first overall draft pick in fantasy leagues? Yeah, most likely so. And same goes for Leon Dreisaitl in the top three as well. If they're going to be playing together uh, for the next seven to eight years. Those two pretty much go hand in hand. But at this point, I'm honestly not even surprised at what Connor McDavid is able to do. Whatever he is, whatever he does on the ice, mm. it's obviously incredible. It's fantastic. The fans love it. But I'm not surprised because he's able to do that McJesus magic, pull out a rabbit from the hat and just blow yep. by people, break ankles out there with his edge work and skating ability. Yes. It's it's honestly the most incredible player I've well, ever been able to witness and for a lot of fans out there. A hundred percent. And you just mentioned pulling magic out of the hat. Can we just talk about Sidney Crosby? You and I, I know we have to, no, look, we come on here and we have to talk about the top news in the league. We're not dedicated to any franchise. So obviously that has a lot to do over the last couple of weeks with McDavid and Crosby, but seriously steal again i don't think people are putting nearly enough attention and i know no i don't need doesn't need respect on his name sydney crosby is sydney crosby but the 15th player ever to hit 1500 points and in the fashion that he's doing it 33 goals this year steal 58 assists 91 points and the pittsburgh penguins right there on the cusp maybe more importantly I just, like, I have Sidney Crosby in my Keeper Dynasty League, so I'm very attached to this player fantasy-wise as well. And I am Mr. Sell High. I can't help but feel, even if this doesn't go well in the postseason, Crosby's still bringing that 80-point value seal. I don't know what you think about that, take. He does, and, you know, back to back in October when we were doing our fantasy draft and I saw Sidney Crosby's mm -hmm. name kind of slide a little bit, slide a little bit. I forget exactly where yeah. he was drafted, yeah. but because he was up there in age and you're obviously scared yeah. about those injuries, but it is incredible how year after year, even with the injuries that he suffers, if he's out for 20, mm -hmm. 25 games, you know, a season, he's still doing a point per game player. He still is a point per game player. So fantasy wise, he is fantastic. You'll love to see it. And again, thank yes. God that uh, he, no scary injuries this year. He was able to play a, almost a full season. He was healthy. True. He get, He's giving his Good team point. right now a chance at making a playoffs. And hopefully we're able to see Sidney Crosby and Chris Letang and Evgeny Malkin back in the playoffs again this year. But he's been giving his team the chance all season long, leading the way. Yep. Again, and just year after year continues to impress. And what I, again, you said Crosby is 15th all time point score right there at number 16, Alex Ovechkin. Those two players go hand in hand right now. Uh, and it's just incredible to see what both those players have done over their career. Yeah, he's the 15th player ever to hit 1,500 points. And just very quickly, the player's right on top of him. And, you know, you and I, you're a, younger than me, but even me, these guys are not in my realm. Paul Coffey, Mark Recchi a little bit for sure, Joe mm -hmm. Thornton, Ray Bork, but Phil Esposito. When you're starting to talk into this conversation, you and I don't need to watch games with Phil Esposito to know that this is now you're talking about historic record-breaking type performances. And I think that's all you need to know. So we got to show love to McDavid. We got to show love to Crosby. I want to talk about also more historic things coming from this Boston Bruins team. Because again, I don't even really want to, but we have to for the <laughs> listeners out. You know what I'm saying, Steele? Like a Pittsburgh Penguin who is doing what he does, get it. McDavid, I get it. But Bruins... 
this is now hurting us a little bit here as a semi Toronto Maple Leafs podcast, but we're going to break it all down for the fans out there, including big time bets and a little bit more of that playoff race deal that is getting a little bit more interesting on either side of the conference. But again, Today's episode was brought to you by HelloFresh. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy and fun and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Go to HelloFresh.com slash NHL60 and use code NHL60 for 60% off plus free shipping. That was one that we had to get out there, Steel. That's my bad. We slacked <laughs> off the top. That's okay. That's going to get it in there nicely. But also, before we get to the rest of the show and everything that I just teed up, you know we got to talk about our friends at FanDuel very quickly. Today's episode is also brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Grand slams, no hitters, and double plays are back, baby. And there's no better place to get in on the MLB betting action than FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Because right now, new customers can step up to the plate for a no-sweat first bet for $1,000 back. Just go to FanDuel.com slash locked on to sign up, place your first bet, and get up to $1,000 back in bonus bets if it doesn't win. And I really like betting on the no-run first inning, the no-hit first inning. That can really get spicy steel, but you can also just bet on who hits a dinger, who gets hits, and it's all on FanDuel. Don't miss your chance for that no-sweat first bet for up to 1000 bucks. When you join at FanDuel today, go to FanDuel.com slash locked on to sign up. FanDuel, official partner of Major League Baseball. Today's episode is brought to you by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm-fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. With the cost of groceries going up and up, now is the perfect time to get started with HelloFresh. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. I love HelloFresh for that exact reason. It saves me time and money, and I don't have to sacrifice taste or quality. For more information, go to HelloFresh.com slash NHL60 and use code NHL60 for 60% off plus free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com slash NHL60. Again, today's sponsor is HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Don't forget, we are free and available on your favorite podcast platform, including YouTube. So make sure you hit the subscribe, hammer the follow button. Flip and I appreciate all the love, all the support you show us every single day. Let's continue on the topic on the topic of historic mm. seasons. The Boston Bruins yes. having yes. having a historic season themselves, a record season at that. Wow. They are currently tied with the 1996 Detroit Red Wings and the 2019 Tampa Bay Lightning with 62 wins on the season. The Boston Bruins do have three games left, though. So they can easily, easily break the record and hold it uh, solo by themselves. Their last three games against the Philadelphia Flyers, against the Washington Capitals, against the Montreal Canadiens. I mm. think they can win all three games very, very easily. But yes, one of the other highlights as well that they can also break, they're also three points away from breaking the all-time points record, which is mm. held by the 1977 mm. Montreal Canadiens uh, yes. at 132 points. So they've got three games left. There's six points on the line. Mm -hmm. they, they're mm -hmm. only three points back of those Montreal Canadiens in, yes, uh, in 1997 or 77. 77. Yeah. 77, excuse me. Um, but it's incredible what they've been able to do uh, all season long. Linus yeah. Allmark, the Vesna Trophy winner. He hasn't been claimed it yet, but he will uh, be the, he's the winner. Trophy winner. Yeah. yeah. David David Pasternak continuing to go, uh, score goals at so will. Good. Even even guys like Hampus Lindholm who have stepped mm -hmm. up in the absence of Charlie McAvoy at the beginning of the season. Yeah. It, it is incredible to say the least what Boston has been able to do. And again, yes. three games left on the season, but only eight teams that have won the president's trophy have lifted, have lifted the Stanley cup in the same year. Do you Ooh. think they are able Whoa. to do that? Cause they, Whoa. they look like an unstoppable force. Okay. I okay. got to bring it up. They look like an unstoppable force, but only eight teams in all the history of the in the National Hockey League, have lifted the President's Trophy and the Stanley Cup in the same season. First of all, shout out to you and the stat digging machine that you just produced because I'm here for all of it. Second of all, the Boston Bruins have all the makings of a, of a Stanley Cup winner, but do I think they win it? No, I don't, Steele. 
and let me hit you with my question for you because this is what I had coming on to the show. Which team, and we know the wild card spots are in flux in the East, just like they are in the West, aside from the Kraken. So we could actually see here Pittsburgh Islanders or Florida Panthers, right? It's going to be two of those three in Mm -hmm. the East. Which team poses the biggest threat to knocking the Boston Bruins off this historically good run? Do I think it's going to happen? No. Do I think they enter as heavy favorites against all three of those teams? Of course I do. But I needed to hear you first tell me which team poses them the biggest threat steal because I think this is a really intriguing question. Yeah. Is it it Pittsburgh? Is it New York? Or is it Florida? It it is a very intriguing question. And honestly, I would love to see a Boston Bruins-Pittsburgh Penguins matchup. Would absolutely Mm. love to see it. But I don't think the Penguins are the team that poises the most threat. That's just my honest opinion. Okay. I still believe it's the New York Islanders. I think they have... I think the only thing that holds them back is their offensive ability. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, without Matthew Barzell, they're winning games right now, and they're still in this race, and they're keeping it close with Florida and Pittsburgh. I still think they have the best goalie out of all three teams. Tristan Jari has by far. Tristan Jari has struggled the last month and a half. He hasn't looked the same. Uh, Casey DeSmith has not been a great backup and you can't depend on Sergei Bobrovsky. What Mm. happens if they choose to go with Alex Mm. Lyon? Is he Mm. capable of stepping into this playoff experience for the first time ever and getting the job done? Yeah, I don't think so. So for me, I rely heavily on both Ilya Sorokin and Semyon Varlamov, obviously Sorokin being the starter, but I love the defense for the New York Islanders. We know that both the Bruins and the Islanders are a stingy, very physical defensive team. Yep. It's gonna. It could be a very impactful playoff atmosphere uh, yeah. series between the Islanders as well. And you know that they're vicious on both sides. They have guys who like to fight and fight mm. dirty. Mm. I would love to see that matchup as well. So I'm going with the New York Islanders, actually. Yeah, and I appreciate that answer. And let's. And we're gonna move on to bets in a few seconds here. But this is where mm-hmm. we added. You know, recap a little bit of where these wild card spots are at because, like I alluded to. Winnipeg, Calgary, Nashville, battling out. There's some juicy games on tonight's schedule, including Nashville and Calgary, that I'm going to want to talk about in a few minutes here. So there is one spot up for grabs in that wild card in the West, but this Eastern wild card, that's where I had to go with that question, and I'm with you. Because when it comes to playoffs and being an underdog, you need your goalie to steal you a series if you really want to win it. And you know my boy Ilya is going to be that guy for the New York Islanders if they manage to get in there. Because we can't predict, but I'm with you on what you're saying. And lastly, Steele, I just, oh my goodness. The Boston Bruins have a goal differential of plus 122. Yeah. Yeah. The Toronto Maple Leafs have found their game as a defensive team this year. And they score with the best of them. And they're only at plus 54. So when to answer your question, maybe a little further about, do I think this Boston Bruins team can lift the cup? I very much think they do, but I think they're also in line for some trouble in that first round. Cause I think the Islanders do have what it takes to give them a run. And if it is Florida or Pittsburgh, you're just going to be so motivated to knock a team off of this historic run that I'm just, I need to see it happen first. So that's where I'm at with that big time bets coming up. Attention shoppers, we now have Taste in the Bread Aisle with Dave's Killer Bread. I'm David Harrison of the Locked On Commanders podcast, and that's right, an organic bread that's no longer a sedative for your taste buds. Dave's Killer Bread is on a mission to make the most of the loaf, to rid the world of GMOs, high fructose corn syrup, and artificial ingredients, and plant the seeds of good in all that they bake. Killer taste, killer texture, always organic. Dave's Killer Bread, bread amplified. Hey there, Locked On listener, Erica L. Ayala from Locked On Kraken here, and I just learned Discover credit cards do something pretty awesome. At the end of your first year, they automatically double all the cash back you've earned. That's right. Everything you've earned doubled. All of the cash back from eating at your favorite soup dumpling restaurant doubled. All the cash back from that trip where you sort of learned to snowboard also doubled. And the best part, you don't have to do anything ridiculous to get it. Nope, Discover does it automatically. Seriously though, see terms and check it out for yourself at discover.com backslash match. 
Big time bets coming up very, very quick. A lot of games on Monday night to start the week. Again, good luck with all your fantasy matchups. If you've won your championship already, congratulations. It's been Mm -hmm. a heck of a year for everyone in fantasy hockey leagues. We know we've had a great time with everyone who was able to join our league this year in our inaugural season. Remember, pay attention this summer. More Mm -hmm. details to come for next year's fantasy league. We're going to continue to improve, make it better, bigger payouts, include more participants as well. And again, we appreciate all the love, all the support. So thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Don't forget, we are free and available on your favorite podcast platform, including YouTube. So make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the follow button. We appreciate it. Big time bets, though, where the money is made. Yes, sir. Flip, it's been mm-hmm. a little back and forth for me uh, the yeah. last little bit. I went on a very mm-hmm. strong heater about two weeks ago. Uh, I think I, I went like ele- uh, 11 for 12 uh, in, in the span of a week or in the span of Yo, five you were on days, fire to start. I was on fire, and then this last week just hasn't been as great. Uh, still going back and forth, but I'll throw it over to you. You're feeling you. confident with your picks. You were really talking about them before we hopped on here. So I'm intrigued what your first pick is. Well, I've been talking about it a lot because we're trying to sweat this master's money over here, Steele. We're coming down <laughs> to the wire, baby. So I'm trying to translate. This can be, this is what I need to get off my chest. This can be a very difficult week for betting on the NHL. Yeah. Because there's just a few spots left where teams have something to play for. And handicapping games where teams on either side don't have anything to play for other than even Mm -hmm. maybe Connor Bedard potential is so (laughs) difficult. So I had to try and focus in on a couple of spots that still have playoff implications. And the first one is the New York Islanders taking on the Washington Capitals. The Washington Capitals, we talked all about it. Dusted from the playoffs for the what fourth time in Ovechkin's career. Yeah. I wanted to just hammer the Islanders, but it didn't make sense to me because maybe the Washington Capitals playing comfortably at home play spoiler. I'm trying to feed some straight winners in this last week's deal. Mm-hmm. We need to recoup some of this playoff money. So I went to the numbers a little bit. So why don't we go to the total, something that has been my money all year long. The total has gone under in five of the Islanders' last six games on the road. It's gone under in four of their last five overall. And how about more importantly, on the road against Washington, where they find themselves tonight, six of the last seven steal gone under the number. I'm going to tease it up to six and a half. I see it at six. Give me the six and a half. You know I don't like those even numbers. Under the total, six and a half between the New York Islanders and Washington Capitals. That's my first bet of Monday night. No, I I like you. I like you bumping it up to six and a half. Under six and a half. I think under six is a little bit dangerous when it comes to the Islanders and Washington. Uh, I like the under six and a half. So I will actually put that into a parlay with my picks as well. Thank you. For me is obvious. I'm going with the Leafs and Panthers at over six and a half. Mm. I think that's the very... Very straightforward, basic way to start off any parlay or start off any picks for Monday night. If you look at the last 10 games, majority of them have gone over the number very significantly. Leafs, Panthers, over six and a half is my first pick. Mm -hmm. You were talking about some of those important matchups as well this next week. I'm looking towards that Flames and uh, that Calgary Flames and Nashville Predators game. I've got the Flames on the money line versus the Nashville Predators. I know they're still in it, but the Predators are letting it squeak away from them right now and the flames have a little bit more on the line mm. uh than the nashville predators at this it's point. close yeah it's close. it's close it's close but i feel like there's a little bit more on the line because of everything that's gone over the past year mm. with the trade you know okay. with Goudreau and kachuk leaving huberto not performing marshall not performing a little bit more on the line to get give them a little confidence. i hear that yeah i hear so that. i'm gonna go with, i'm gonna go with the flames on the money line versus the predators and this feeds into my Last pick as well. I'm actually taking the Sharks on the puck line plus one and a half against the Winnipeg Jets. I did it last time. It mm-hmm. banged out for me. Yeah, the I like Jets, it. The Jets have been in some very close games recently. 2 nothing win over Nashville. 3-1 loss over Calgary. 3 uh, nothing loss to the San Jose Sharks. I'm going with the Sharks on the puck line at plus one and a half. But my lock of the night is that Leafs and Panthers over six and a half. These are just some of these spots deal. And I had to, like I said, off the top, I just, you know, usually I come on here and either agree or disagree with picks that that's just the advice for me. all week. take all of your bets with a grain of sand. Whereas the first night, two nights of the playoffs, I'm going to be coming with some very confident picks for what (laughs) I expect to see in those situations. 
also all week this week steel and i have and i'm so hyped up for it steel x factors playoff yes. series breakdowns under the radar studs guys who are going to be the difference makers we're probably even going to have an nhl awards update heading into this playoffs because we got to break down a little bit of everything but let me just fire off my second and third picks including obviously my lock of the night which comes from that national calgary game steel and this one's for you to wrap up my last Monday bet of the last Monday bet on the Minnesota <laughs> Wild of the year. Eight one and one. This Minnesota Wild team finds itself yes, against sir. the Chicago Blackhawks. Thirteen and seven over their last twenty games, playing very well headed into the playoffs overall. And yeah, they're really good against the Central Division, winning seven of their last eight. And lastly. They have won eight straight games against this Chicago Blackhawks team. And I'm not settling for the money line tonight because I think the Wild, with now Kaprizov back in the fold, he's back in the fold, if you can confirm for me, please, Mr. Mr. Yes, Rose. sir, he should, he should be back into the lineup. I think so, too. So give me the Minnesota Wild on the puck line to just destroy the Chicago Blackhawks tonight. Not exactly a bold take. Nashville into Calgary. This is the most pivotal game of the season for both teams. And yes. that means under. That means under. That's just how I'm looking at it. Yes, I know both teams have had their struggles defending the cage, but they've also clearly had them putting in the opponent's cage. So give me the under between the Nashville Predators and the Calgary Flames. And I'm teasing that one up as well. And I think the last game between these two that I watched, deal. let me just check this very quickly. Yeah, 2-1. It could have literally been, it was like, it felt like 0-0 zero, zero hockey between these two guys, two teams. And the game before under, give me the under, 6.5 Nashville, Calgary. That's my lock of the night. I like the under in that game as well. And in that Islanders Capitals oh! game. Those are the picks. Those are the lock of the night. Place your oh! money. Make your picks. We appreciate all the all the love, all the support. Thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. For your second listen, Check out Game to Game, every moment, every performance, every result. Locked On Game to Game covers every game from across the NHL with local analysis that only Locked On can deliver. Thank you again so much for tuning in for today's episode with Flip and I. Have a great day. Good luck with all your bets out there, and we shall see you back here again tomorrow. Hey! When you save on auto insurance for driving safe with USAA Safe Pilot, you'll feel like a big deal. Even in a traffic jam. Save up to 30% with USAA Safe Pilot. Restrictions apply. Hey, Prime members, you can listen to this Locked On podcast ad free on Amazon Music. Download the Amazon Music app today.